Hey guys, this is my video on help. My practice scores are stuck. So there are two basic scenarios we're talking about. The first is you've been studying for two months or more. This is just your first practice and you're dissatisfied. Or your scores are okay to good, but you've been stagnant. So you've taken two or more practices and your scores have just not improved. So if you're borderline or below, my suggestion is that you redo the material. But watch videos only for understanding cycles or diagrams or biostats. Staring at a book with a very busy diagram is such a waste of time, especially for me. Um, when you have something that's so dynamic with so many arrows where if they move a certain way or if they're shifted on the axis, they mean something different, you really want to watch a video about that. Um, and in the case of something like for me, for pediatric cardiology, I watched a video on how, like what the different closures mean and how the blood flows and what shunting is. And then I studied the disease etiologies like PDA, like VSD from a book. Uh, videos are also good for interpreting EKGs and chest x-rays. You can, in that case, um, reading the definition of a specific block arrhythmia from a book is kind of equivalent, but if you can watch a video with the beginning part on interpretation and the end like the last minute or two with different variations of EKGs then that is probably what you want to watch but don't memorize any from any one book EKGs chest x-rays or CT scans because that for me did not I mean at least for me that didn't work um, it didn't help me establish a pattern recognition uh, and confidence in those so the videos are really great for EKGs, CXRs, and CT scans. Take notes on every problem you did. So go have notes on the correct and incorrect. On the incorrect questions, pay special focus on to why you got wrong, what you got wrong, and why the wrong answers are wrong. If you're consistently okay, your scores, haven't improved. You're probably not as strong in certain subjects as you think you are. Like, it's not just a test taking problem. You have a specific deficiency that you might be able to uncover if you organize your notes by subject, then identify your reasoning for answering a certain way. And in that way, you'll be able to target the weakness. You've reached the end of my video. Please subscribe. It's free.